News Channel 9 at 11 starts right now. A police chief charged with extortion in a city left to decide who should be charged with protecting their citizens. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. Tonight, Graysville Mayor and the Board of Commission met, met to decide the chief's fate with the city. Allison Levine was at that meeting. Allison, what did we learn there? Josh, Kim, the day Julie Tainsley was arrested, the board voted to put her on paid administrative leave until they had more information. Eleven days later, in tonight's meeting, the board voted unanimously on a more permanent decision. In tonight's special called session, indicted Chief of Police Julie Tanksley had a proposal for the Board of Commissions. I received an email requesting a leave of absence from work. Uh, Chief Tanksley has several issues going on in her family and is requesting this leave, and I suggest that we give her, we approve the leave for her. The big question for board members? Is this leave going to be with or without pay? Without. Without, but she understands that. In a unanimous vote. Vice Mayor Scott. Yes. Mayor Doss. Yes. The Graysville Board of Commission granted Chief Tanksley's request for an unpaid leave of absence. The next order of business. By law, we have to put someone in place that's post certified to be the interim. A retired CPD officer, the only candidate for the job. I'm Alan Huggins. I retired after 26 years, city of Chattanooga. At the time, I understand the position is temporarily while she is being the situation is being dealt with. In yet another unanimous vote. Vice Mayor Scott. Yes. Mayor Doss. Yes. The Graysville Chief of Police transferred from the indicted to the interim. So the board made it clear that they are hoping Chief Tanksley is exonerated of all charges. They say they expect to reinstate her as Chief of Police once that happens. Kim? Allison, thank you. Tanksley faces two charges of extortion from her time as Chief of Police in Calhoun. The TBI